Hey guys, Wolverine here on Tarkov, and on this episode, I am gonna teach you the quickest way to earn rubles or dollars. So it's pretty simple. What you need is to empty your container, Alpha, Bravo, or Gamma container, as much as you can. I keep a couple things in, like emergency health pack for one slot and the factory key. The factory key, you should always keep hold of that. I'll cover the factory key on another video how to get it what's it for and the link will be in the description below to take you to, to at the end of the video but my point is what you need to do is free your container and then all you got to do is do factory runs and loot the green boxes once you loot the green boxes you can store them in your container and when you get killed it's still in your container go back to this trader screen drag it back into your stash Simple as that, rinse and repeat. I will warn you, you are going to die a lot, but it doesn't matter because you're not losing anything. You are gaining a little bit of experience and making a profit with whatever you store in your container. So I'm gonna do a couple factory raids and show you a few examples on what I mean. Okay, so we spawned at the yellow crates, not yellow crates, yellow cranes, four cliffs, whatever. I'm gonna go to the green crates where there's two of them. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you only find bullets, sometimes you find mags, and then the juicy optics. Compensator, yeah, it's, a, it's an attachment. be grip that's that's probably gonna go for about 2k good start we've made about two and a half thousand rubles so far it's hard to say what's the best route to loot these green crates you just gotta play factory a few times to learn the map and learn the spawns so you know where you wait compared to where you spawn you know where your first green crate is going to be Cigarettes ain't important really, but it's a profit if you get killed early. Nope. Scav, I'm not ready to die yet. Check down the schoolway. Ooh. Grizzly. Oh, I want that. Grizzlies are the best medical item. Very rare. I think you can find one at AIs and obviously spawn there. Hello? Oh. Thank you. Grizzlies are really good. You can't buy them until you're like your max level. You like heal everything, fractures, blood loss, pain. So it's basically like a movement. Ah, I think I shot his arm too many times. <laughs> that guy with the macro must have a weak bullet. 3,000 experience, not so bad. I'm, I'm happy with that. It's helped me level up a little bit. But yeah, as I was saying, Grizzlies, it's like a splint, morphine, bandage, and health recovery in one. Really good item. Never sell them, never have them out of here. Container, pouch, gamma, alpha box, whatever. Okay, so once you die, go on your character, drag everything, drag everything into your stash. Do I need that tactical grip? Mm. Okay, so it doesn't matter. So just stash everything into your stash and then go again. Click on factory, do it again. Okay, we spawn back in, where are we? Okay, we're almost by offline spawn. There's three crates here, but a lot of people spawn around here. Yeah, a lot of running. <laughs> oh, it gives me a friendly wiggle. <laughs> that sees me brutally murdered someone. Okay. Let's check what we got in here. 
So again guys, whatever you find, just drag it in here. I wouldn't bullets aren't that important. At least bullets don't cost a lot, so if you have to make room for something, I'd say just lose the bullets more than anything. I mean, some of you are only going to have four slots, so I'd say lose the bullets. That torch, that's going to be pretty good. The eye fact, that's really good. I don't even know what that is yet, so I'm going to keep hold of that. Okay. So, going for the next green crate. I'll go inside here to check the dead, dead scav first. He usually has something nice. So, if I have anything I want to put in now, I would like drop these bullets. AI med kit, they're worth a thousand rubles. So I'll just, uh, which bullet do I want to get rid of? Like I said, guys, bullets are very cheap, so you won't make a lot out of it for the one slot. Let's check this green crate, see if there's anything in here. So if you, once you start figuring out the map, guys, you know where the green crates, you can make a very good pattern. Ooh, another light. There with like four or five k. So we're starting to get a few good stuff. Attachments for the gun are the best. They sell the most optics and lights and that kind of stuff. I suppose I haven't been shot on yet. Something's going on. These ones have been searched, I can't remember if... No? I don't think the pistol mags are worth that much, to be honest, I'll have to check. Nothing, okay. Hmm. Not the best run, but a couple of nice flashlights. And because we've got a kill, and I've loosed a lot of stuff, I'm going to get extracted. And because you, if you extract, you will get a lot of XP for that as well. We'll see how much XP we get from that. Yeah, usually, if you kill a very high level player when he's a hatchling, you get a lot of experience for that. Twenty-two thousand. Wow. Yeah, level 31 to 50 player, that one bear I killed, got me, must have been, what, let's see, 12,000 for that experience, so that was a good run for me, that's a lot of experience, so it is worth getting extracted once you thought guys, don't get greedy, but it's not a big issue, it just depends if you want experience as well. I mean, I got a lot of good shit from in the uh, Gamma case. Hey, leveled up. I'm happy. Okay, so once you've done that, guys, go on your character. Uh, pull the attachments together. Because that, that's the point I want to make. Get grab attachments and keep the TT mag because you can't buy them yet. Keep that eye fact up. The eye facts are really good. Okay, we're back in. Where are we? Okay, we're by the yellow crane. <laughs> Let everyone know I'm coming through that door. Let's see, uh, he's gone to my left upstairs. He must be going to the, to the office room. Lots of shots kicking off, someone's got a silencer. Mag, mag. AI mag kit. AI mag kits are worth grabbing a thousand rubles. They're better than the uh, pistol mags. And three NATO mugs. Okay, we're full. 
Let's just search everywhere around, see if we find anything better. Lots of scabs like spawn around this area, out to the whole map. Just bullets, don't really want to just grab bullets, they don't worth a lot. Let's have a look up here. I mean, if we die, we die. Oh, I haven't really done anything yet. I only get a little bit footy if, uh, I, if I've killed anyone. If I killed someone, then it's too sad thinking. I'll, I'll go for the experience. As well. Some good stuff spawning here if you got the time to loot, but uh, very good optic that is. Just in case I get damaged. Okay, no dead people here. That's where everything went down. Don't mind me, I'll just loot while you guys die. Ooh, that laser is worth a lot. We'll grab that. That's the source if you want to keep an eye out. It's the one with the blue pluses icon. Right, I'm ready to die. I'm not expected to live after this, so. Okay. Or you can give me your gear as well. <clears throat> and there we go, we we got even more of a profit. But I'm full auto. Now that we got a gun, I could get greedy. I don't want to get greedy. This uh AK I could probably get about 10k for. So I think we'll extract. I swear there's one behind me. Always a bonus if you get to kill a scav because you can get shotguns off them and AKs off them. Good extra, almost 10k profit. And it's even better if you have a factory key because you don't have to extract where people could camp. There we go. Now that was a profit. I was happy with that, especially with that laser. Those lasers are really good. How much did we get for that? 4,000 because we just killed a scav. Take it. Okay, so let's just put our stuff in our stash. Let's just organize it a little bit. And I'll just give you a rough idea of the prices of this stuff so you kind of can understand what to extract. What not to extract, etc. Okay, that laser. I'm so happy I got that laser. It's our NATO mag, yeah. Okay. Alright, so we're going to go on traders. As you can see, 2,500 for the grip, 400 for the compensator, 5 for the light, 4 for the light. It's almost 6k for that optic. So we know compensators aren't worth a lot for one slot. That light for six k, that laser for six k. Thousand for the AI, so that's three k. And yeah, the mags are really shit. So we know not to get compensators or mags that they don't get priority. The NATO mags almost two thousand each, so that's okay. Okay, so there's a rough idea. Okay, where are we? Green chem light. I want to offline spawn. I usually don't like going for these free crates straight away because it's so open. A lot of people run around here, you're going to get hatchets or shots. I like having a little bit of cover. So we're going to go. A power supply. Okay. That's before I even uh even lose any green crates. They're worth a bit. They're not brilliant, but I think it's like 6k. Four slots, it's hard to for four slots. What are we going here? Pistol mine. We know they're not worth a lot now, so. Okay. 
movements. Like I said, guys, you just pick up where the green crates are once you get used to the map. Hello! Not friendly? Friendly? Okay. I'll leave you two then. Drop down here. Not ready to die yet. The international wiggle if you're friendly or not. Oh, hello! <laughs> <laughs> okay, pump, duffel bag, and vest. Search for the shotgun bullets. Okay, profit already, guys. Not the military profit I wanted to do, but we got a sh pump. I'm feeling a bit aggressive, so we're going to try and do a couple more green crates. <laughs> Or could get a couple guns out of this. This is not the part of the video I was trying to explain to you. There's a guy up there trying to wiggle to him. Better grab this gun, I don't want him to have that. No, you don't want any? If you can get guns off the scavs, it's a lot of money straight away. You don't have to do the green crates if you can get out, but that's not part of the video. Is he behind me? Yeah. Fucking idiot. And this is the other extraction area. This, this factory key is amazing. So, I didn't really get many stuff from the green crates, but uh, we got two guns from people. So, we'll exit with them and make a profit that way. So, that's another way. A bit more risky, a bit more aggressive, because you might not get extracted. You might not get the profit, but... But I got 20,000 for that, so. And that's nice as well, getting the experience. Uh, one of them was a level 31 to 50. Don't know which one it was, but. Yeah. Okay, so after breaking everything down, got all the shit I'm going to sell. Half an hour's worth of raids. Let's see how much we can make. So, first things first, break the weapons down. Sell everything I can to skier first. So, laser, grip, torches, optic, compensators, shotgun barrels from the two shotguns I got from the last raid, All shotgun pieces, handles, dust caps, vest, and the bag as well I got. That's 36,000 I've made for skier. That's not bad. And that's only with skier. Okay. And next is therapist. Always sell food, computer parts, cigarettes, and medical items to her. She will buy the most for him. With her, I've made 9,000. That's not bad. I don't want to sell that. I want to save that for another video. But um, you can see how much that was worth. So 9,000. So 34,000. That's 43,000 so far. Next, we're going to sell the best of the rest to Prapor. All the shotguns, the mags, the bullets. Going to keep the, that mag. The VSS mag. They're quite rare, I can imagine. They'll be useful for end game. And that mag. Okay. I think that's it, isn't it? Okay, 38,000, almost 39,000. So, we'll sell that. Yeah, we'll sell all that. 38,000. So, if my maths is correct, which my maths isn't the best, I think we've made about 75,000. Um, in half an hour on raids. I think I did about five raids and two of them I died quickly which you didn't see in that. Just the raids that went successful. And uh, I didn't get a lot of medical, not medical, uh, military stuff from the green crates. You, I would have to loot that a few more times but what got me was the the guns I got from the scavs which helped boost the profit big time so 
hopefully guys that's a tough a good idea on how to make money quickly it's going to be hard you're going to die and if you've got only got a small container and no factory key then yeah it's going to be hard but it's a profit wherever you store in that case you won't lose uh, hopefully i give you a rough idea on what is good and what is not what's worth holding on to what is not and yeah guys if you get a little bit lucky you kill a scout grab the gun get out and you're going to make a lot of money in 30 minutes i've made 75,000. i can guarantee people can make a lot more than that in that time if you get lucky and you find the right stuff at the right time so hopefully guys that's a rough idea on how to make money quickly if you're struggling with rubles and not gaining a lot of gear and not getting extracted uh, let me know what you think what's um how much have you made in a certain amount of time let me know i'd love to know how much money you can make in a factory farm okay guys thank you very much and i'll speak to you soon take care bye